Hello, welcome to part two of making a Canva image graphic thing and then posting it. So at the last video, we learned how to make an account with Canva. Accounts with Canva are free. Some of their um, graphic templates are not free, however, so we're going to find out how to use the free ones, utilize those, and then how to create it. So this is the page that it would come to right when you sign in. This is like your dashboard. And you can create a design using a bunch of different templates. So if we want to go to social media, just for fun. This one is my favorite. All of these templates are squares, just like what Instagram would want you to use. Um, that's why I think that they are the coolest, because when you download them, they come in a good size. So. Um, you can see on the left here that there are all types of templates and what you can do is you can click on a template, press all, and then even more come up. So you can get ideas for like the style you're going for depending on what you're doing. So for an ex example, if you click on one, it comes up on that blank template. You can always start with the blank template too, but clicking on a template from the left, we'll just drag it over to the right automatically. It comes with all of the words and the picture that you see in the template, but you can click on any of them to highlight them, and then erase them and change them to how you want them to say. So for example, if I wanted to do the copper cycle lab and one of the reactions from it, you can just insert whatever words you want. Mm, let's do that one. I'm going to insert a picture of this copper two oxide to show you. Maybe you don't even want some of them. You can simply delete and then the text box goes away. So do beware of that. Then over on the left side you have this column of different elements that you can use for Canva. For example, this one, elements here. You can do grids, shapes, charts, lines, frames, illustrations, just like clip art, icons, just like clip art again. You can click on text and add in more text. So whatever you click on, for example, add a heading, shows up on the right. Now you can write down whatever you want to write, like maybe I'll say my name. Comes in black in this font, but we can change the font. So let's say we want to do this one. Maybe I want to make it a little smaller. This color icon will change the color of it. And then you can click out of it at any time, re-click on your text box, and drag it wherever you want. The great thing about Canva is you can center items. You can put them off to the side. You can center it based off of other writing. Let's do it centered in the middle down here. All right. You can also choose templates of text. So if you're making, for example, an invitation, some kind of more formal letter, you can use one of these. It already has the fonts and the sizes all picked out, and you can still change the color, you can still change how big it is on the paper, etc. All right, background. I would not use these unless you are not using a picture. If you're using a picture, use the picture as the background or simply use a color, a solid color as the background. Some of these are super cool, I admit it, but unless you're focusing more on the writing, which we technically wouldn't be using this for, um, then you don't really need them. This one is what I'm looking for, uploads. So to upload an image, you can click here, upload an image, and it'll take you to all of your computer's things. I have a picture already saved to my desktop, ready to go. I click open, and it's going to take just a second to download it in there. Once that little bar went away, it's downloaded and ready to go. I can take that picture and drag it so that it is in my template. Easy as that. Then if you want to rearrange the picture a little bit, like maybe move it up and down, you can double click on the picture and see how it extends out, depending on the size of your picture, you can take it, move it up and down, you can drag it, um, like extend it, you can shrink it, whatever you need to do. So if I want it a little centered like that, click done, and then it goes back. So I think this little line is part of the 
There we go. I don't want that. It's not as cute. All right. And there you go. So when you click out of there, that is your image. It looks so good. So next, if you wanted to, another just option, you can go back to elements. You can type in whatever you want. So if I want to point out what the copper two oxide is on this picture, I can go directly to it. I was about to type copper. Press arrow. And I can draw one of these. Maybe I'll choose this one. And shrink it to whatever size that I want. Arrange it so that it's kind of perfect on there. And that air, oops, this kind of thing happens. That's okay, that's why this program is so great. Actually, I'm gonna lower that too. You can really get creative with these. There we go. So now this arrow is pointing to the copper two oxide. All right, you see that? If I think that arrow is too big, keep shrinking it, drag it. There you go. Now you've got your picture. It looks so good. So I love Canva. If you don't want to have this font, if you don't want to use this kind of template, you have so many templates back over here in the left corner to try from. Okay? So if you're not focusing on a picture, if instead you want an informational infographic, maybe you'd want to use one of these right here, like this Lend Your Hand or Let's Beat Cancer, those kinds of images. Let's see if I can even, like these right here, okay? But sometimes that's not what you want. So you really just got to decide what the assignment is, what your goal is. If you're making this kind of graphic here, and you want to incorporate a picture and label it, this is where it's at. You make them look so great, and you can put them all on social media. So this is not just something that you can use for school. I think this is beneficial for other aspects of life. I know that for me, I have another job at a fitness studio, and I'm in charge of their social media. I use this all the time. It's really great. But you have to know how to use it. All right, so there you go. That is how you make a... Instagram post on Canva. How are you going to save it? That is the question. So right here, you can click on download, which I will do right now. It automatically downloads it as this PNG file type, and that is what you want. So when you click on download, just ignore the star in the circle. It doesn't take too long to make it and it will show up at the bottom of your browser here as a download if you're using Google Chrome. If you're using Safari, it should end up in the top left corner where you see downloads often. All right, this is taking longer than I wanted it to, but that's okay. The benefits outweigh the negatives of this program. While we wait. Do some nice erasing here for you. Hold your applause. There we go. Okay, so it came up. I don't know why the star came back up, but here is my downloaded version. So I can double click on that because I'm on Google Chrome. Here it is. This is my PNG version of my Copper 2 Oxide. I'm on preview, so I'm using a MacBook. This is all from being on a Mac. I'm on preview. I can click file, save, and then it's on my computer. So now if I go onto my finder, it is right there in my files. All right, so we'll do one more in series number three. Thank you.